Jones, you're looking good. Look like you're making some progress, good sir. Finally got to the bottom of who was driving that car. <laughs> hey, you're just like you being here, like you said, Greg. Oh, come on, man. Uh, no, no. I got it, Greg. I can drive, brother. Can't do this, bro. <laughs> you got some cups in the cup. So good luck. Malachi, where do you think you're going? Like, you in a wheelchair, dude. You can't get out that quick and get away from the, the detective. Now, when I saw this title, y'all, it says Detective Shows Malachi's Surveillance of Who Was Driving the Car. Now, now they've already kind of like come to the conclusion. When I say they, I mean Malachi, Mike, all of them were like, look, I wasn't driving. That's what they're going to say. I wasn't that Malachi wasn't driving. And Malachi has already concluded that he wasn't driving by saying things like, I drive a van. I don't, I wasn't driving, you know, basically saying I wasn't driving. So, the surveillance. Now, it's funny how we get the surveillance for things like this, but we don't get the surveillance when our people are brutally killed by white officers. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay we're not talking about that right we are talking about malachi trying to get away in this big ass wheelchair from the detective and y'all he didn't do it he did not kill greg he was not driving malachi was not driving the car i am so glad that Malachi was not driving this car or the car so basically everybody can be at peace with each other or, or about the situation they can be at peace about it <sighs> y'all don't come for me please please don't come for me um a lot of urn for you a piece of Greg I think what you doing here uh oh. Look. Hey, I, I want to take this time to apologize. For everything that happened at the hospital, I, I was wrong. Yeah. There's one over here, man, but listen to me. Really? Yeah. Now, okay. Please tell me. Maybe Gray's wife and uh, old dude should get together. I mean, I don't think he really the settling type. But maybe they should just go ahead and get together. I don't know. I don't know. Don't come for me, y'all. Don't come for me. I mean, and I'm I'm being serious about it because if you've been in it, in any of my lives or watched my videos, you know I told you that I lost my friend, my guy friend, and um, you know. How soon do you move on? How soon do you move on? And, you know, we've had tons of memorials for him. Well, not we, but there have been tons. Of, not we, including me, but there have been tons of memorials for him. And I still have an actual homegoing service to attend this weekend for him. And it's been over, almost a month. And the first thing I thought was, hey, when do I move on? And I know at the home going, this is something that's going to be given by his son's mother. And I know all of the friends that I didn't meet at the, the last memorial is going to be there. And I know there are going to be some really nice people just like him because he his circle was that way. So why not <laughs> like and the same with greg's wife why not like if um oh dude i forgot his name but if he's open to them dating why not i know come on for me in the comments y'all let's see what is the question the question is should greg's wife and old dude 
get together. And another question, how long before you start dating after you lose a spouse or partner? I see you in the comments. Thanks for listening. And if you haven't, please make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, guys, and hit that notification so you'll know when I upload a video. And as always, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.